My content is intended for adult collectors of the product, not made for kids. Hey everyone, before we continue with the rest of this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel with bell notifications on and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hello everyone, episode review time. Uh, so this was, uh, I would say, better than last week, I would say, in terms of the episode. It's, it's kind of more backstory on pain. Uh, you know, it's at least we get more context to it and everything. Uh, also, a huge shout out to Mo from the WBO for helping out with any extra context and translations. That way, I don't, uh, no, I just give more context. So I do like that they do point out the fact that Bell, why didn't he have it already? The perfect thing. I believe he says something along the lines, I was told this, something along the lines like, Oh, well, I always save the best for last. I, I think this is really funny because it, it makes no sense for the writing, for him not to just already have it. But within the context of the show, they played off as a gag that Bell was just that stupid. He, he, he really just wanted to save it for right after. So I do, I do find it funny. I kind of wish, I don't know, there was a little bit more weight to this because this was like something that was built on for like most of the season. Just like a little bit more weight. Like, you know, it is really important. You know, you have to buy all the stuff for the gears. I do hope, and let me know in the comments. I have a question. Do you think Takara Tomi is going to do a gold dangerous Belio? Because they did do a gold dynamite and it was in the anime. So I wonder if we're going to get the same thing. Maybe they'll do some prize for like a random booster where it's a gold dangerous Belio. Maybe. I don't know. I, I really just want a gold. I want a dangerous recolor. That's all I want. Uh, so they go and actually meet, I believe this is supposed to be, uh, Payne's grandpa. So you have Belle's grandpa and Payne's. So I believe this is from the aftermath, from the whole thing with the Rashad thing. You know, Payne was, uh, really depressed. And again, I really like, uh, how Payne looks in a lot of the shots. And I think, uh, you know, storyboarding for how the shots look is really nice. And he, he, he was just out of it. He just didn't want to do stuff. Because, like, I guess, like, that battle just really threw him off. So he's watching Bill versus Rashad. And you can see that, like, oh, he, he gets, like, a sort of passion. And he's, like, watching. And he's, like, excited. Like, something reignited, right? The only thing that I think doesn't make any sense is that the footage in specific that they chose. Because we do know that Rashad does break Dynamite Belial. And I feel like it would have been really cool and it would have made more sense if when Pain is getting reignited and his whole thing with this obsession with Rashad is when he saw Rashad, like, break Bell's bay. Because then after his motivation kind of makes sense. That, like, oh, I don't like Rashad because this and he did this to Bell or something. I don't know. So afterwards, uh, you know, Bell wants to battle. And Pain's kind of just like, you know, he gets a little bit excited. He's, he's getting more into the mood of things, and I do like that. And also, he actually uses high-mode Phoenix. Now, I'm actually really surprised by this because they're finally remembering high-mode's a thing. And No, okay, before you say, what about perfect? Okay, perfect, yes, perfect counts. But you know what I mean, like, they don't really push on high-mode. So it is kind of uh, cool to see that they do that. So they go, and obviously there's like the whole thing, is it heavy, is it light? So they're going head-to-head -head clashing, and you see little things from before, like with Bell versus Rashad, when like the gears are like being highlighted when they're used. And he's actually doing a really good job against Phoenix. And Payne's like really getting excited. I actually like this, because like this was a good episode. I don't think Payne's like the best, but I do think it at least makes him a lot more tolerable. I, I still think this is like, this is like borderline lane level, but he, he's kind of getting there. So he goes for the armor of the prominent shaker, Belial deflects because of the power of the advertisement. The armor goes outside, Belial avatar, I think it's like diver versus dangerous uh, bomber, or whatever it's called, this special move. Double burst, then after they're battling, Aurora Borealis. That's actually not a joke because I, I didn't get the screen, but 
yeah, the sky is changing, whatever. Next week, it's Pain versus Rashad. Maybe they wrap up Pain's, like, sort of hatred or whatever, and, like, they make up and, like, they're friends or something. I I'd prefer that. Because I feel like DB is really, like... I don't want to say DB is the worst season. Because I really have to think about DB till the end. But it's definitely already at the bottom. Like, with Sparking. I think if they wrap up Pain's arc and, like, they kind of develop him further and everything, and they, they put... Like, basically just... Do what they should have done with Lane, because the issue with Lane is that Lane's development is like literally like the last like four whatever episodes, right? Like Phoenix, it like at least he's going through something. I I do have hopes. Hopefully they can do it, man. I'm I'm actually I'm rooting for Pain. I want Pain to be if if they do a good job with Pain, they handle his character well. Like I, I'm at least liking the direction that they're kind of taking with it. It just is a matter of how they handle his character. I think he's more interesting than anime Rashad, I'll tell you that much. I think the motivation is silly, but maybe maybe they do something. Maybe maybe like Pain acknowledges how how stupid his grudge was and then after he like he realized you know something like that. Let me know in the comments how you want uh this arc to write because I think it's this and then after there's like the final one, right? Let's hope they do a good job with the animation. And by the way, I already have done battles with Raphael and Phoenix. So if you want to see how that would go, uh, make sure you check out that video. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you like quad drive stuff, by the way, I've done uh, a review on Vanish and uh, some battles on it and more content like that coming soon, even more. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.